Welcome to Swolehammer. Even though we love the frantic action of Warcry and the skirmish gameplay of Kill Team, there's something to be said about fielding a big army. Hence why I started Starting Sigmar. For whoever is new to the channel or series, the mission of these videos are to help new players make a fun and efficient army from a specific faction, rounding out to a thousand point list, which is the lowest tier of competitive play. We also want to make it easy to acquire these items and enjoyable to hobby with. The criteria are as follows. We avoid making lists with repeat models. Models need to be easily accessible either from a Games Workshop store or Amazon. I like to support local, but sometimes prices can't be beat online. All models suggested are in plastic, and we only focus on armies with the current edition's battle tomes. We're in the third edition of Age of Sigmar, otherwise these videos would go out of date quicker. So join me as we eradicate chaos with the Celestial Seraphon. So why play Seraphon? A reptilian race that was awoken and fueled by cosmic energies funneled through large toad wizards, arriving in the mortal realms to repel the corruption of chaos. Seraphon represent the highest of fantasy that we know and love in Age of Sigmar. Seraphon's model range is vast, but was showing its age until now. With an immense model refresh, your lizard men of varying sizes will look better than ever. Playstyle wise, Seraphon are flexible and push towards the complex side of rule sets, at least in Sigmar. Magic heavy, horde swarm, monster mash, and so on. You have the tools to excel in most situations and in whatever way the constellations tell you. So recently I started doing units to look out for for these. Unfortunately, I'm actually going to do products to avoid because there is one product that I need to make clear to people to not buy because of logistical reasons. So the old Start Collecting Seraphon box has Saurus Knights, which unfortunately were one of the many older kits to get just wiped out of existence from the new Battle Tome. There's a lot of play for almost any of the other units in the book, so you can kind of do whatever you want, but I needed to make sure that people realize this because if you see that Start Collecting Seraphon box, you can't use everything in it. But onto brighter pastures with the buy list. And this is what I'm calling buy list 1A. The other list will be 1B because as you'll see, they're based pretty much almost solely around the new Seraphon army box. This is readily available on Amazon. The Slates of Darkness one has been available on Amazon and on Prime for six months after release. So I'm assuming that the Seraphon one is free game to include. Then Croxagores. I had to include these guys because Croxagores, I told myself, I told dozens of people, I would start playing Seraphon if Croxagores got new models and here we are. So they're a simple inclusion. This rounds out your list to costing, we're guessing about $250 to $260. The Croxagores don't have their prices released as of this video because this is way in advance. Only the first wave of new models have been released at this time. But if you want to go another route with this army box, we're on to buy list 1B. And so as you could probably guess, yes, we're doing the Seraphon army box again. It's a great freaking value. But let's change the theme up with a different purchase. And that's the Warcry box of Hunters of Huanshi. This list will run you about the same monetarily as the last one, around $250 to $260, depending on where you get it at. This one has more skink focused, but both of these will be extremely easy to get and hope this covers most of what you'll want in your Seraphon army. Now we're on to the list, and the first list will be Kotal's Claw. Under the coalesced sub sub faction, we have what's in the army box. Slan Starmaster, 10 Source Warriors, 5 Raptodon Chargers, 5 Raptodon Hunters. But then we're taking the Croxagores that we're going to make War Warspawn, the new variant, just to fill out points. Kotal's Call makes Croxagores and War Warspawn battle line and also buffs Croxagores and Source Warriors in combat. Your Slan Starmaster is an insane cast 3, unbind 3 caster. And then Raptodon are there to kind of support, be fast, mobile, and the Skink Synergy works with Croxagores in a weird way. 
This rounds out the list to 960, but if you want skink action in your life, then list 1B is for you, and we're doing Fangs of Sotek, which is under the Starborn subfaction subfaction. Same base idea here, except in Fangs of Sotek, your Raptodons become Battleline. And Fangs of Sotek allow for some crazy layers of free redeploys with your skink units. So that's why we included the Hunters of Huanchi, which are pretty much the replacement for Chameleon Skinks in the Battle Tome. And then also in that Hunters of Huanchi box, you get three Terra Wings, which are the Pterodactyls that I really like. And I figured, hell, let's make this a super mobile list that has a lot of tricks, some source backbone, and still that magic punch. Both lists are highly flexible and super easy to collect, so I hope these work out for you. And that's it! Personally, I'll be rocking the first list that I featured because I love Croxagors and I'm a man of my word. But let me know, which list are you guys more excited for? Or maybe are you going to go in that Thunder Lizard Monster Mash style? Let us know in the comments. And as always, this is Rafiq with Swolehammer. Stay swole.